In this video, I'll show you how to take your GarageBand keyboards from this to this. GarageBand is a really useful music production tool for musicians of all levels. But those who are unfamiliar with music theory and piano music theory in particular will love this tip. Now, I'm no piano virtuoso myself, so I find the ability to add note labels to the keys of my virtual pianos and synthesizers in GarageBand for iOS incredibly useful. Okay, you'll actually need to come out of the GarageBand app itself for this one. Open your iPad or iPhone settings, then scroll down to the big list of apps here. Locate GarageBand and select it. Next, scroll down until you see this option, Keyboard Note Labels. Toggle the switch on and when you return to GarageBand, all of the piano-based touch instruments keys will be clearly marked with notes, so you know which notes are which. Here's how it looks in the default grand piano touch instrument. If I switch over to an alchemy synth patch here, the instrument UI changes as usual, but the note labels stay in place. So what about fretted touch instruments like guitars or strings then? Well, you can't add notes to the interfaces of these stringed touch instruments, but you can play their sounds using GarageBand's keyboard interface and your note labels. Tap here to open the instrument menu, tap here to go back to the main categories menu, and then select Other from the menu. Here you'll find that all of GarageBand's touch instrument sounds that have their own interfaces like guitars and strings are selectable. If I choose this hard rock guitar sound, I can play its sound using the on-screen keyboard with the note labels instead of the touch guitar interface. Quick, easy and a fantastic way to make sure you're playing and recording the correct notes every time. Let me know if you use this feature in GarageBand for iOS down in the comments below and give that like button a good hard slap on your way past. I really appreciate it and it helps more people see this video. And for more information on getting to grips with GarageBand for iOS, watch this next.